That's a lot. Is this serious? Excuse me? Okay. Okay. Hey guys, it's Shelby, and I'm back again to react to some more Waisel TikToks that you submitted. If you haven't seen the other two episodes of this series, I'll have them linked below, but basically what happens is you tag me on TikTok, 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 and things that you think are wasteful, I go through and react to them. And particularly this time, I had Madison go through all of your submissions and pick the best ones. Thanks, babe. Why are you exploiting me? So she saved them to my favorites, which I'm gonna have to remove after this so I don't start getting shit like this on my feed. There's not much else to say except I do want you guys to not demonize anybody in these videos. This is not to send you after a creator and give them hate. And also, I don't wanna hate on them either. This is just to bring your attention and to the average person's attention. How wasteful some things we do can be even though we may not be thinking about that. And we're going to talk a lot about the behind the scenes impact of the actions that they're taking, etc. This is mostly for entertainment and also like a tinge of education. So we all know I will ramble on in the intros. I won't do that. But I do wanna give a huge thank you to Audible for partnering with me on this video. If you guys don't know, Audible is an amazing service that helps you listen to audiobooks, whether you're cooking, what else could you be doing? Driving, <laughs> whatever you're doing. You guys know I personally do not like to read books, so I really, really prefer audiobooks. Not to mention, Audible gives my audience a discount when you go to audible.com slash Shelby, or if you text Shelby to 500, 500, you can get your first month of Audible for free and one just general audiobook, whatever you wanna to listen to. And as you know, I try to pick an audiobook each time I mention Audible to recommend to you guys. So this time, I wanted to recommend this audiobook that just came out and it's already a number one bestseller. What? It's called All We Can Save, Truth, Courage, and Solutions for the Climate Crisis. It's written by a ton of amazing women activists and giving you so many different perspectives on climate change. And like it said, it includes trust, courage, and solutions. So I haven't listened to it yet, but it is definitely, I've downloaded it and it's on my list of to-dos. But I am very excited to listen to it. So I thought maybe you guys would be interested in that as well. And if you wanna to listen to this audiobook for free, you can definitely go to audible.com slash Shelby, like I said, or text Shelby to 500, 500 to get your first 30 days to Audible for free. They've kind of been the sponsor of this series if you haven't noticed. So definitely if you're interested in checking out Audible, I'll have them linked at the top of the description and let's start reacting to the TikToks. Oh, okay, stop. Okay, there's not much to say about this TikTok particularly, except for the fact that this is one of those things that people are literally just like buying stuff and sucking it up to make a TikTok and then throwing it away, which is, I think, fucking stupid, right? Obviously, wasting things for entertainment is stupid when there are like a million other ways to be entertaining. Maybe get a little bit more creative. <laughs> That's a lot. Here's the thing. Most balloons are made of material that is not going to biodegrade in the atmosphere or in the environment, that's the word. But what you have to also keep in mind is like those balloons have a footprint of their own, the resources that go into making it. I don't get the appeal of doing this. You took a ton of time to do all of this. It also cost you a pretty penny. And then in like literally two seconds, the entertainment is over. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about people that are like, but the balloons are biodegradable. We'll get there. Is this serious? I know I'm not the only one who does this. I hope you're the only one who's doing this. Am I crazy? Who would throw away dishes just because they didn't want to wash them? And that's a nice dish. That's not like a plate. That's like a fucking casserole dish. This is like beyond being wasteful without knowing. This is beyond privilege. This is beyond anything reasonable. Like there's no teachable moment here. You know what you're doing is absolutely ridiculous. Why would you do something like that? Please don't do that. Okay. We're gonna leave it there.
stop. Obviously, this is wasteful and fucking dumb. I, I am not going to say throughout this entire video, stop being so wasteful to be entertaining, get creative and be entertaining without you know, being wasteful and stupid, but this type of machine is very similar to what they use to grind up plastic in like recycling facilities and stuff. So the way recycling works is you take a plastic, like a plastic cup or whatever, take a plastic cup, you chunk it into something that looks like this and it breaks it down and they're able to melt those parts down and turn it back into plastic. I have a video about this I recently posted, which I'm gonna link up here if you wanna see all the problems with our fucking recycling system. But essentially they do this and what's really interesting about this is those machines have a really hard time breaking down thin plastics like this unless it is fed to it like exactly like this which obviously in a not seamlessly easily set up situation like it is here is kind of chaotic and can get the machines clogged and all that kind of thing so this type of plastic is a problem for recycling in general let alone when you run it through a feeder and then like you can't even send it to thin plastic recycling which it was very likely not going to get recycled even before that but then you went around and fucked it up even more anyway all right i'm done fucking around i got a thousand sticks in this bag no we're not doing this again again i reacted to this kid putting glow sticks in his hair last time if you want to go check it out i'll link that video i guess i'll put it right here and i'll also link it below all right y'all we finally done it 750 glow sticks did he just say 700 glow sticks the internet is also rewarding this behavior, right? Because people are liking, sharing, commenting, telling him how cool it is that he did this or he, they're so shocked that he did this. They can't believe he pulled this off. And like, obviously the internet also contributes to amazing things and also gives us access to a lot of information we wouldn't have otherwise known, but the internet also lends itself to this. Ayo, chapstick addiction check. Here's the thing, like this is so many chapsticks, you're never gonna be able to use them all. And also what's really interesting to me is that she has so many different kinds because I have found people who are legitimately like chapstick fiends, they have their favorite, they're not using like a bajillion different kinds. To me, she seems like a novelist about chapstick, like she likes to try all the different ones, but regardless. I would call this hyper consumption. When you move from a lifestyle that's like this over to what I refer to my lifestyle as eco-minimalism, you try not to purchase another thing until you finished up the last one. But it is very, very, very popular, especially in beauty care products and especially in the US American society to have a bajillion of one item that you, to the point where you will never use them up. Not only if she stopped buying chapstick today, which she probably not use this up in the next 10 years, which at that time they would all be expired. And we no longer look at these items as something that we're supposed to be using for their purpose, but rather something that, oh, we get bored with this one because honestly, none of these brands are like great chapsticks. And the other part of this is companies realize that people are doing this and that people like her and a lot of people, it's not just her, a lot of people will buy things in patterns like she is. So companies will just keep releasing things because they keep selling because people do stuff like this. And this is absolutely a mentality that I am actively trying to fight against on this channel, people very much value time, convenience, and money. And so if you speak to those concerns, hopefully we can reach more people about why this is incredibly wasteful and dumb. Hi, my name is Fabulous, and I got a bunch of license plates today because they're my favorite thing to tear. What? I was dancing to the music and not paying attention to what he just did. Maybe he's tearing up other things that are quite wasteful to be doing, but this is probably, he didn't get all those license plates new. Like they definitely, the government's not going to just send you like a bajillion license plates without vehicles that they're registered to. So my assumption is that he bought these secondhand. I guess you could recycle them and you still can recycle them after he rips them. This is something that might be interesting because you bought those secondhand. They can no longer be used because they're expired license plates. And then after you're done, you can recycle them. Aluminum is an incredibly recyclable material this i approve of this is the type of wasteful entertaining tiktok that is fine great good job whoever you are hercules i don't know if he has hair on his head <laughs> but okay yeah i'm here for it check it out this is the chicken mcnugget dunker so we have our favorite dipping sauce here at the bottom we place our chicken mcnugget here at the second floor and we're going to pull away this yellow tab 
And then what happens is the chicken McNugget will fall into the dipping sauce. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the chicken McNugget here at the top. Boom, there we go. The perfect dunk. Hold on. You ready? No gimmicky plastic needed. Something like this was in the last episode of this series where someone bought like a beauty blender washing machine and <sighs> this gives me the similar vibes, right? I was going to say, let me go into a, uh, like a rant about how basically creating and buying things like this leads to more people thinking it's cool and then going out and purchasing the same thing. And then we end up with hundreds, if not thousands of stupid little plastic items all around the world that are going to be used a time or two and then forgotten about and ending up in our landfills and or our oceans. But I'm hoping that most people are not even interested in this, like the beauty blender thing, because this is incredibly stupid. This is just fucking dumb. So let's see what the comments say. Never seen something more pointless. This is so unnecessary. Or you can just dip it. This is the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm happy to see those people in the comments. I think this one was blatantly, obviously pointless. So shouts out to the internet for knowing that, but there are tons of things out there like this that are uh, a little less obviously pointless, but they're still pointless. Oh no. Where is this? Where is this? Advisor. Oh, it's a justice. Sorry, why didn't I read that? So this is uh, something I've experienced a lot in my life. If you guys didn't know, I used to dumpster dive on this channel. It was uh, something that was very fun to do, but also a little bit soul crushing because I found stuff like this all the time. Companies destroying their returns so that people couldn't dig them out of the trash instead of donating them. I mean, I found clothes, household appliances, uh, yeah, a lot of makeup, obviously. They just like throw them into the dumpster, put some holes in them and don't donate them or anything like that. It is a huge problem, especially in the US. So we don't have any legislation around making companies take accountability for their returns. As a matter of fact, they can write off the cost of destroying those returns. Uh, so they actually get like benefits for throwing them away. They could also get benefits for donating them. But again, it costs less money to have someone take a product and throw it out into the trash than to actually set up a donation schedule, have someone come, store it until someone comes, um, all that kind of thing. Again, I say not just in terms of the environment, but like destroy something that obviously like normally people would pay money for and that could have been donated and actually used. Uh, it would make me anything but calm, but we'll move on. No, that's outside, that's outside. No, no, stop, stop. Stop, okay, okay. Glitter is a microplastic. Um, literally, the particles are so small, it's incredibly hard to filter out of water and they make it into our oceans. And what happens when a little, little organism eats a little piece of plastic, the bigger organism that eats that, the bigger organism that eats that, it's something called a bioaccumulation and we end up finding a lot of plastic in the fish that humans eat um, and then it obviously ends up in humans. Hey, not me, but you know, people who eat fish. A lot of these videos I've seen people using glitter to be funny on TikTok is often inside their home. She put it all over her car where eventually she will sit and get out and it will get into the environment and it will wreak havoc on our entire aquatics ecosystem as well as all the way up the food chain to humans. I will say this TikTok has 740,000 likes. Thanks internet for glorifying this behavior. 
I'm happy that's over. I hope you had some fun. Hope maybe you learned something or were entertained. And if you like these videos, make sure you give them a thumbs up and let me know if you want to see more of them and go follow me on TikTok and tag me so that I have more that I can react to. Also, if TikTok makes it past uh, existence in the next couple months, but I'm hoping that it does because it's one of my favorite apps right now. Also, if you're interested, don't forget to check out today's sponsor, which is Audible. Like I said, you can go to audible.com slash Shelby or text Shelby to 500, 500 for your first month of Audible for free. And that means you can get your first audiobook for free, which you can go check out the one that I recommended today. All we can save with a bunch of amazing women who are telling great stories and giving some good solutions. So thanks so much for watching. And remember until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye guys.